Welcome to section 36 of bacteria. This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing Bartonella hensley, which you can see right here. This scene will take place on the farm where a bunch of hens have managed to escape. Hen sounds like hensley, so this will be our symbol for Bartonella hensley. Notice that we've made the sky look pink, which is to help you remember that this is a gram-negative organism. This is a gram stain of gram-negative rods, technically E. coli, but the morphology of Bartonella hensley is very similar. The organism appears pink, and they are rod-shaped. In addition to the pink sky, notice that we've made it appear as if it's night, and the sky is filled with stars. The starry sky is to help you remember that Bartonella can also be identified using the Warthin starry stain. This is a Warthin starry stain. It's a silver-based staining method and can be used to identify Bartonella. Okay, moving on. Bartonella is a zoonotic organism, meaning that it's an infectious disease transmitted between animals and humans. The fact that this entire scene is on a farm and has a bunch of hens should help you remember that Bartonella is a zoonotic organism. Bartonella is also sometimes referred to as cat scratch fever disease because exposure to cat scratches can cause the disease. In order to help you remember this, we've shown a stray cat who's gotten loose and is scratching up all of these poor hens. The emphasis is on the cat scratching the hen, not on the cat itself. So please don't get this confused with the catalase test. So cat scratching a hen for cat scratch fever. One of the owners of the farm and of these hens is a granny. As you can see, she's pretty upset with this mischievous cat and is now attempting to stop it from harming her hens. Granny sounds like granuloma, so we've included it in this image to help you remember that Bartonella is associated with granuloma formation. Granulomas are simply a collection of macrophages that attempt to wall off an infection. This is an image of a granuloma. Notice that there is a large circular pattern of walled off debris right here. This is surrounded by white blood cells, including lymphocytes and multinucleated giant cells. In immunocompetent patients, Bartonella is associated with painful axillary lymphadenopathy. To help you remember this, we've shown this crazy looking grandma with her arms up in the air, exposing her very hairy armpits. The curly hair resembles lymph nodes, so curly hair in the axilla for painful axillary lymphadenopathy. Next, notice that we've shown a guy who's trying to rescue this hen who's been severely injured. The hen's blood is all over the stretcher and resembles a rash caused by Bartonella, which is known as bacillary angiomatosis. So the stretcher stained like a rash for bacillary angiomatosis. He doesn't know what to do as the hen bleeds out, so he frantically pulls out a $100 bill and tries to control the bleeding by using it as a Band-Aid. The Band-Aid represents AIDS, and the fact that it's being used as a $100 bill represents a CD4 count less than 100. Also, just like we've done with other videos, the stretcher represents a compromised immune system. So putting all this together, immunocompromised patients, such as AIDS patients with CD4 counts less than 100, are prone to developing bacillary angiomatosis. You can also see that this frantic appearing guy has pulled out a scalpel. Maybe he's about to perform a minor surgery on the hen in an attempt to save its life. The scalpel, along with the blood stains on his shirt that resemble neutrophils, are here to help you remember that a biopsy of bacillary angiomatosis will show neutrophilic inflammation. Okay, now notice that we've included a car in the background right here, and you can see a person who has accidentally dropped something on the ground, which appears to be shattering. Let's zoom up so you can see this better. As you can see, this is actually a shattered petri dish. The car represents endocarditis, and the petri dish that is shattering on the ground represents culture negative. So putting these together, we get blood culture negative endocarditis. So Bartonella can cause blood culture negative endocarditis. This is defined as infectious endocarditis without any growth of organisms obtained from three independent blood samples. Now we've added a scarecrow up against the side of the barn. They usually use this during another part of the season for growing crops, but right now it's resting up against the barn. Like in other videos, the scarecrow represents macrolides, so macrolides can be used to treat Bartonella infections. We've also shown a dirt bike up against the barn to help you remember that doxycycline can be used to treat Bartonella. Dirt bike, doxycycline. Finally, notice that we've shown this guy with a rifle who appears to be getting ready to snipe this cat. Rifle sounds like rifampin, so this should help you remember that rifampin can be used to treat Bartonella. Okay, now that we've covered the image, let's solidify this information with a question. A 27-year-old male presents to the physician due to pain in the left axilla. Physical examination reveals an enlarged and tender lymph node that is palpable under the left axilla. There is also several scratch marks seen on the posterior aspect of the left hand. When asked about the scratches, he states that they were caused by a new cat he recently purchased. Which of the following is the best treatment for this patient's condition? A. Azithromycin B. Ceftriaxone C. Daptomycin D. Metronidazole or E. Amoxicillin Okay, hopefully from the question stem, you notice that this patient has painful axillary lymphadenopathy. Also, the scratches on his arm were caused by a new cat that he recently purchased. 
This is a dead giveaway for cat scratch fever disease. As we just discussed, an effective treatment for this condition is azithromycin, which is a macrolide. So the correct answer is A, azithromycin. All of the other answer choices are ineffective for cat scratch fever disease. From the image, recall that the scarecrow leaning up against the barn right here represents macrolides. So cat scratch fever disease can be treated with macrolides such as azithromycin.